the fuck is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the LS400 and today is the actual video that you guys have been waiting for and I've been waiting for it too actually because when I cut off that second video short at the end yes I got to see the car air out on the wheels for the first time but it was inside the garage so it was a confined space and I didn't actually get to see what it looked like. Uh, the wheels had tires on them that were like gone, completely gone. Um, so yeah, I've been waiting for tires to come in and they're on the wheels and I put the wheels on today and this is my first time seeing the car outside on the wheels and I'm about to show you guys too. Uh, but yeah, I'm hyped on this. Before, before I cut into like a high pass cinematic section, I just want to say that first off, this is not a VIP car yet. Yes, that is the intention. That's why this series is called like VIP style LS400. It is not by any means a VIP style car yet. Just because it's a big body doesn't make it VIP. Um, that is where it's going to head to. And that's my inspiration for this build. But for right now, it is just phase one bags of wheels so yeah guys here's the car guys there you have it this is phase one of the ls400 build technically it is the it's the bags and wheels phase it's the my boy is gonna kill the game this year phase kill the game uh the point was i wanted to get it looking somewhat decent so that i can enjoy as a photographer and a videographer enjoy shooting my own car wherever i go which is something that i've wanted to do for years and i now finally can um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the little montage. Um, it wasn't up to my usual standards at all, but it's very cold outside. So I'm not really trying to like hang around with no gloves on and film like the best thing ever. Just wanted to show you guys the car as quickly as I can, because I'm uploading this video live because this weekend I will be at Riverside Chattanooga. Um, it's one of my favorite shows of the year. Chattanooga is one of my favorite towns and I'm hoping the weather is going to be good. Um, but if you guys are going to be there, come and say what's up. You can see the car. Um, if you guys take any pictures of it, please tag me in them on Instagram. And actually talking of Instagram, I made a separate account just for this car because I didn't want to spam my business account, which I use for photography with just pictures of this all the time. Um, so if you guys want to follow that, it's at LEP underscore LS 400. Pretty easy to find. Usually if you search up my handle anyway, which is at LEP underscore automotive, it'll probably pop up, um, but give that a follow and you will probably see most of the stuff that's going on with the car there before you do on here. But anyway, guys, uh, I'm just in the car real briefly to warm up for a second. We're going to get out right now and take a walk around and just show you everything on the car, talk through some plans and basically what I have in mind for this car and what is coming next, what's coming further down the line, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, let's get to it. All right, so now we're outside. It's cold. <laughs> let's walk around the car. All right, so like I said... This is just the bags and wheels phase, or phase one for the car. So it's just a very simple setup. Um, bags and wheels. Uh, the air setup, I did go over in the other video. I will go over it again. Um, it is D2 bags, um, triple bellows in the front, doubles in the rear. And then it is the Vera Elite V2 management, I believe. Um, it's okay. I will give you a full review another time um, and 
maybe go over why it sucks. But, yeah, right now there isn't a whole lot to talk about with the modifications on the car. Uh, oh, I did, I did fix this fucking terrible corner light that was broken. So now that's kind of clean. Uh, I still need to put the DRLs in those. This, hopefully before this weekend. Depends, because it's really cold outside and I have to do it in my driveway. So, you know, maybe. Uh, let's just talk about some flaws while we're here. This fender, as you saw in the last video when we were rolling it, the paint cracked the whole way along here. So that looks kind of janky. This looks janky. But it is what it is, um, eventually it'll get cleaned up and I don't want people to think that I'm being lazy and whatever. Um, yes, it is kind of thrown together for right now, um, but I feel like everybody goes through this phase in building a car and this, I promise, will get fixed up eventually. It doesn't look too bad, I mean, apart from that little chip right there, that does look terrible. The other parts of it you can't really see unless you get really close up. Uh, the other side is not so bad. Like, it still has this little chip right here and then a tiny one right there. Fenders are pretty straight since we rolled them. They have a couple little dimples, but only I really noticed that. Well, you guys now know because I told you. Um, now, main thing we should talk about is the fitment in the front. It is whack. Oh, I mean, the fitment all around is pretty whack for right now. But let me talk through the next plan for the car, which is revolving around right here. Um, I am hopefully gonna shorten the spindles by 35 40 mil and then do RCAs, which is roll center adjustments. Um, and that hopefully should readjust the geometry of the suspension and allow me to not hit the top of my strut tower and also drop this down that little bit further, which is exactly what I need. And then now let's talk about the rear fitment. It's actually not bad. It's tucking kind of how I want it. The rear fenders are not rolled. So right now I am like kind of rubbing that on there. But these wheels were free and they're kind of beaten up already. So I don't care. I'm just going to rub that shit all day. But yeah, as far as other plans go, the front suspension does also need some extra work. Uh, I do want to get the Serial 9 upper control arms. They're pretty expensive. Um, but a little bit further down the line, once I've done the spindles and the RCAs, I think I'm gonna do that, because that'll give me some camber adjustment in there. And then for the rears, uh, there's a ton of expensive options, but actually Megan Racing makes camber arms, toe arms, traction arms for these. They're real cheap um, and they're pretty decent. So I'm not, I'm not super bullied about spending thousands of dollars on T-demand shit, which I'm sure it's great, but I'm not really, balling that hard so yeah i think the megan racing stuff in the rear and then when we're ready to build a set of wheels we'll probably do all the camera adjustments and um be a little bit more aggressive or considerably more aggressive um and then as far as wheels go i actually was in california last week and i swung by three piece.us and if you guys don't know what that is they're a japanese wheel importer and i will have a video coming on this I looked at a couple wheels there, um, getting some ideas for stuff that I want to do. They had a set of SSR, SSR Gartmares, which were beautiful with step lips, and I think those will look sick on this, but they also had a set of Wall Dutch Elect 2s, which is actually my top choice right now for the car. Now, the reason that I'm kind of interested in the Wolds is because, one, Wold makes a bunch of stuff for these cars. Two, those wheels are very period correct. And three, they almost look like a AMG wheel of sorts. And I think these cars, when they're debadged, kind of look like a Mercedes. Um, so that's my thoughts behind the Wold wheels. Uh, if you guys don't know what they look like, look them up. And also look up three piece while you're at it. Um, definitely a big fan of those, but that is coming further down the line. Right now, I think it's gonna stay on these wheels for a little bit so I can focus on some other um, little pieces around the car and when I'm ready to we'll build a set of wheels go more aggressive you know have a bunch of camber but right now I want to focus on doing some interior stuff uh, maybe want to get like a lip kit or look into some aero I'm not sure I'm just you know I'm spitballing ideas around right now I can't really afford to do like a shit ton of stuff I am not like most other automotive youtubers when they buy a fucking car and it's gonna be a build and it's done in like a month I wish I was Adam LZ, 
I wish I was TJ Hunt, that would be great, but I'm not. Right now we're out here struggling still, but I promise you this car will take shape over time and I'm just really excited to have it together as much as it is right now because this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just hyped. I'm just, I'm just really excited and that's pretty much it. All right, well, I decided to come back inside because my hands were starting to get really cold. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm rambling on a little bit. I, I don't plan out what I'm gonna say when I film these. I'm just very excited about the car, very excited about the progress. I'm very excited about the things that I have planned for the car. And I hope that you guys are excited too. Um, please, you know, post in the comments below what you think of the car in its current state. Um, some ideas that you might have. What would you do to this car? Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys at Riverside this weekend. I really hope it's going to be there on the wheels. Um, I'm a little skeptical about the lug nuts I have on the car right now. So I have a couple days to figure it out, but hopefully it'll be there. And I'm going to, I'm going to enter the car in the show. I'm going to apply. If it doesn't get accepted, you'll see it in the spectator lot. If it gets accepted, then it'll be a fucking miracle. And shout out to the Riverside guys, because one of my favorite shows. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end off this video with a clip of me driving the car aired out along this road. So I'll leave you guys with that, and we'll see you in the next video. Or actually, we'll see you at Riverside, but bye, guys.